grab it, son. Grab it. Oh no. Uh, I appreciate the skinny version. <laughs> Listen, uh, everybody, whoever played basketball at Auburn, at Auburn deserves a piece of this statue. Uh, it's some amazing people, John Mingap, Chuck Person, Vicky Orr, Mike Mitchell, there's some amazing people uh, who played here. Ruthie Bolton, I, want to, I don't want to forget anybody. It ain't just about me, it's about every person. I got a couple of my teammates here, Gary Godfrey, uh, Paul Daniels, uh, Greg Turner. It's some amazing people. Every time you accomplish anything in life, it's a group effort. I want to thank Auburn. Uh, this man here, Jay, Thank you for everything you did for Auburn and for me. Uh, Coach Smith, you know I love you like a father. Uh, and you mean the world to me, you and your wife, Jan. You know, every time I see you, the first thing I say to you, I'm surprised you're still alive. Uh, I told him, I thought, I thought my first two years at Auburn, my name was Charles Barkley, you SOB. Uh, but he was amazing. I wish I had been mature enough. I would have been a much better player sooner, but he stayed on me the, my entire three years, and I love you, man. Um, uh, Bo Jackson. I would never say this publicly. <laughs> But I'm gonna say this publicly. The greatest thing in my life that I've seen is watching Bo Jackson play in high school and college. Uh, it was the most amazing thing to get the chance to see this, this man. I saw him play in high school the first time. I was like, wow, that's pretty special. And then to have him come down to Auburn and get the chance to watch him every Saturday Thank you, Bo Jackson. Uh, Dr. Lee, welcome to the Auburn family. Uh, you've been, uh, you know, I called Dr. Lee a couple months ago. I says, uh, I called his office. I said, hey, uh, this is Charles Barkley. I want to speak to Dr. Lee and tell him that I love Auburn, I'm gonna support Auburn. There's anything he needs to do for me to get on television, on any network and say something. He's, and the girl says, hold on a second. So he gets on the phone and he still doesn't believe it's me. <laughs> He's like, I said, Dr. Lee, we never met. I just want you to let you know, I'm a diehard Auburn person to the day I die. Anything you need me to do to go on television, say anything, blah, blah, blah. He says, okay. Then after about 12 minutes, I think he realized it really was Charles Barkley. Uh, but welcome to the Auburn family, you and your entire family. Bruce Pearl. Hey. Ah, uh, listen, I'm on the Bruce Pearl bandwagon. And I want to tell you something. I've watched this team play three times. And with all the noise that's going on in their ear, I want to thank them young kids for going out there and Coach Pearl for getting them to bust their hump every single game. These are young kids. They watch television every day. They hear all the news. It's a lot of noise going on. But for you to get those kids to go out there and play every day, man, thank you. Um, I want to introduce me, uh, my wife and daughter here. Uh, they got all the Auburn garb on today. I'm proud of y'all. But I am uh, stand up. Listen, this is uh, one of my high school teachers is here, Miss Stone. Hello. But listen, I just want to thank. I made the best decision of my life in 1981.
coming here. I, and I tell people, this is the greatest place in the world. Uh, it's a wonderful place. Every time I come here, uh, I feel like I'm going to a family reunion. Uh, I just want to thank y'all for coming out today. You guys know the Iron Bowl is a big deal for us who were born in Alabama and who went to Auburn. I really hope, uh, I just want those kids to go out there and bust their hump today and do their best. And I ho hopefully we'll get a victory. But I want to thank everybody here for taking a small time out of their life. Auburn, uh, this is, I've been so lucky. I mean, when I got here in 81, I never expected my life to turn out like it did today. Uh, I had no dreams. Uh, I would fulfill all my goals, dreams, and ambitions. And it all started here. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank everybody. And to the day I die, War Eagle.